When working with annotative objects in general, text, dimensions, hatches and blocks, the most important thing to do first is to decide what scale is going to be used uh, for printing those drawings. Now, at this point, I'm going to print those drawings at 1 to 50 and I've got two layouts already set for that. I've got the layout called floor plan and the layout called sections when I'm going to print my floor plan and the two sections. At this point, I have no viewports on these layouts, so that's one of the first things I'm going to do. I'm going to use my layer called viewports, and on this layout called floor plan, I'm going to generate one single rectangular viewport. I'm going to fit it from there to there. That will show me everything I've got on my mold space. After that, I'll just go inside the viewport and try to center this floor plan because that's all I want to see in here. For that, I'm going to use my command Z for zoom and the sub option called object. Select my floor plan, enter, and I will center it on that viewport. After that, I will just set the scale to 1 to 50 and done. Setting the scale now will automatically reveal every single annotative object that was created for that scale 1 to 50. As you can see already, I've done a few dimensions on this floor plan. I'm going to repeat the process for the sections. So on this area, I'm going to use one of these name viewports. I'm going to use the two horizontal and I'm going to fit those from this corner to this corner. As before, we get an extended view of whatever was showing on the mold space. So on this one here, I only want to show this one. This one, as you can see, is oriented vertically. I want to orient that view horizontally. So I'm going to reorient first my UCS. So in this case, the X should be facing this way and the Y that way. So we got the floor and the height. After this is done, all I have to do is rotate my view cube. At this point, I will do the same as before. Z, enter, O, enter for the zoom object. Select the whole thing so I can center it. And after that, I'm going to change the viewport scale to 1 to 50. That will also reveal some annotative objects on that view, like hatches and dimensions. I repeat the process finally for this one. This one doesn't need to be rotated, so I'm just going to zoom object this drawing and change the scale again to 1 to 50. After that, I'm going to exit. I'm going to go to my mold space, and now I will add some extra annotative objects. The problem at this point is that I cannot see the ones I've got already. To be able to do that, we'll need again to set the scale first. So just be aware that one of the most important things you need to do before adding or inserting or creating annotative objects is to set the scale, the annotation scale that is going to be used for printing those objects. So if I set the scale to 1 to 50, that will reveal all my annotative objects I've got already. And by doing that, if I insert now a new or create a new annotative object, that scale will be, uh, that object will be scaled properly to the right scale. The scale was intended uh, for that object to be printed on. So what I'm going to do now before I actually insert the object is to change my layer to annotations and I'm going to try to insert uh, one block. The block I'm going to use here is going to be the drawing title and I'm going to insert that in a reference point that I've got already set somewhere here. I actually save that as a point so let me just make sure I'm using node. So if I do have the node here, there we go, that's the one. So if I go insert drawing title, I'm going to insert that one here. And because this uh, block, annotated block, it also has attributes, it will bring these up. So I can basically type uh, the attributes like the title, the scale and the number. This drawing is going to be called floor plan. The scale is going to be 1 to 50, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. And the drawing number is going to be drawing 01. That's usually the attribute, the default value for the attribute I use. Now, if I insert that block again, this time it's going to be for this one here. The reference point, I've got it somewhere there. I'm going to change this one to section B, as section 1 is going to be the other one. The scale is going to be 1 to 50. And the drawing number is going to be 0 to. I'm going to insert these again. This time I'm going to use more options so I can then rotate my drawing title minus 90 degrees and insert it somewhere here. 
once this is done, I will then modify the parameters. So I'm going to call this one section A, scale 1 to 50, drawing 0, 1. If anything needs to be adjusted in these blocks with attributes, all you have to do is select and modify that on the properties panel. I will now also insert two more blocks. I've got them ready here as well. One of those blocks is going to be the section symbol. This one will go, I do have a point here that I'm going to use as a reference. That's for the uh, drawing number, uh, which in this case is going to be the section number A, and shape number is going to be 02. As this block is dynamic, I can also stretch it. If you want to learn how to do this, just leave your comments on the area below and I'll create new videos to explain it, how to do it. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to insert section symbol one more time. This one should be B. Sheet number again, 02, just one zero. And this one here, I'll need to rotate it and also stretch it a little bit so it goes all the way. Now, once we go all the annotations uh, in our drawings, that includes, again, blocks, dimensions, and everything, you can see that they're already showing on the viewport. So if at any point, well, if this happens, all you have to do is stretch, yeah, or change the size uh, of these viewports a little bit. But as you can see, they're all printing on the same size. Uh, and that's already done uh, for you by AutoCAD because they're annotated blocks. And that again happens with uh, blocks, hatches, dimensions, or anything. Uh, let me just show you with dimensions. If I, in this case, add some dimensions, I do have my style already created and is annotative. If I start here, the annotation will be automatically scaled to whatever scale I'm using for printing, which in this case is being set also down here. So that will automatically create, as you can see there, the dimension at the right size. If you need to add details or dimensions to a detail like the window, again, all you have to do is set the scale for the detail. After that, you just add whatever measurements you need to add. And as you can see, the dimension will be adjusted automatically for you.